Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the ColourPop foundation, um, hydrating foundation as well as their primer. Now their foundation is still pretty new. I think it came out, I want to say like three weeks ago. I think it came out July 9th and their hydrating hyaluronic, hyaluronic primer, I think has been out of what for a while i'm not too sure when it came out um but i do know their foundation is still pretty new it retails for 16 dollars, and there is 42 shades now i did pick mine up at ulta and i picked up the shade light 70w okay so most as most of you guys know i do have very dry skin um right now i look a little bit shiny but that's because i put moisturizer on i just washed my face and put moisturizer so uh, what really caught my attention with this um foundation was first of all i've seen a lot of people review it here on youtube and i really like that it said hydrating anything that says hydrating i am totally for the only thing i have on right now is my eyebrows so let's just go ahead and get started all right so first let's start off with the hydrating hyaluronic primer now this primer um it says it's lightweight hydrating primer that refreshes and preps skin for makeup application so i'm just going to just put this everywhere oh it smells good oh it smells so good and I'm just going to rub it in my hands are clean I just washed them oh my god it smells so good it does have um a scent to it so if you don't like scents you probably won't be for this primer mm, it does feel very hydrating pretty good my face feels smooth and it does feel hydrated so let's just go ahead and jump in to the foundation so like I said I got the shade 70w I wanted to get 80w but they were I think they were sold out but a 70w I think is a light to medium skin tone with I think it was warm undertones or yellow undertones. Okay, so I'm going to do one side with a beauty sponge. This is my favorite uh, Real Techniques beauty sponge. And then one side with a brush. So I'm just going to take one pump. And just dab it on my face. Um, I think this is going to be a good match. For some reason, my like forehead right here... And like around my face it's darker than my like chest area and neck area but that's because when I sit down in the Sun like my forehead is literally like boom right in the Sun so I think I have more of a tan on my forehead okay so I'm just gonna go in with my the foundation I don't think it has a scent to it I think what I'm still smelling is the primer and I love the way that primer smells it smells so good mm, this actually looks kind of nice now I don't know if it claims to be full coverage oh medium buildable coverage for natural healthy looking skin and so far i kind of i do like the coverage of it it's not full it's definitely medium and i do feel like you can build it up because it's really lightweight okay i'm going to try the side i'm also going to do one pump okay and then i'm going to be going in with my morphe m6 brush And buffing it in now I don't really use like I hardly ever use brushes for my foundation but I'm going to do it because I know most of you use brushes so I want to review it and show you guys what I like more okay so right away first things first this is definitely you get more fuller coverage with the brush you definitely do get more full coverage with the brush but for me personally I I kind of think I like this side a little bit more just because this side looks kind of like heavier 
and I like something more natural, more dewy. So the brush did give me a more fuller coverage. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, like this side definitely looks more full coverage than this side. But I'm going to go over this side with my brush or with my blender just a little bit to kind of push it in. Because I feel like it looks kind of, oh, scared the but I feel like it looks kind of cakey. So I'm just going to go over it just a little bit with my beauty blender. So first impressions. First things first, I actually really do like the way this foundation is setting on my skin. It's definitely not matte. So if you have oily skin, I don't know if you would like this so much or if you go, if you love a matte foundation, this is definitely not matte. It's, but it's not like super dewy either. It's just like, it gives you like a really healthy like skin. I don't know, it's hard to explain. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna do probably not full coverage, but I'm just gonna throw some concealer on and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the final product. I did put some concealer. I did my usual concealer. I baked under my eyes and like in my T-zone, I put bronzer, blush, um the whole shebang except eyeshadow and i did put a little bit of highlight but this is how it looks if you guys hear noises in the background that's anthony but anyways um there he is <laughs> anyway so this is what it came out to i really like the way that i really like the way that it came out it doesn't even feel like i'm wearing makeup it kind of i like i feel heavier underneath my eyes where i put the concealer than anywhere else and i like never feel that it looks really good it feels really good so i'm going to set some setting spray really quick because this is what i do with all my foundations uh, and i use my absolute favorite the morphe setting spray and then i fan it out because i'm extra like that all right so it is 102 p.m and i'm probably going to be wearing this at least for five hours maybe even more um, so I will check back with you guys later on. Alright guys, so it is about to be 9pm. It is 8.53. So I've had this on since like 1.30. So, one, two, eight. so I've had it on for about seven and a half hours. Um, and this is how it looks. As you guys can see, I am kind of oily, which is weird because I never have oily skin. But I do look very like dewy here. But it's been a pretty long day. I was outside for like three hours. I was building a patio swing. So I was like up and down. I was sweating. I was moving. I was in the sun that was like directly shining on my face. So but it still looks like it never lost its coverage. Like I still have my bronzer. I still have my highlight and I still have my blush and everything like stayed in place even though I am like super shiny. But I feel like if I just pat it down and put a little powder over it. I should be fine. I mean, other than that, for eight hours, I don't think it was bad at all. All right, guys, so first impressions, I do really like this foundation. I'm definitely going to keep using it. I mean, for $16, and I think the primer was like $12, um, this is not a bad price, or this is not a bad foundation. It's actually, like, really nice. I am excited to keep trying this out. So I will definitely keep trying it out for you guys, and I will keep you guys posted on my Instagram and Snapchat if you guys want to know more how this foundation um, wears throughout the day. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.